We actually ended up keeping um, the vast majority of the employees there. The current water employees of Manila yeah, Water. Yeah, and um, that was the first cognitive bias I decided I had to get rid of in my mind. Uh, I had assumed that the employee force there would not have the capability to transform this into a progressive uh, institution. Astoundingly, uh, with the right leadership, they became a significant competitive advantage. And why do I say that? Luckily, um, our management team, the one we put in and the human resource group put in, decided very early on that they were going to work pretty much with the whole team that was already there. And as they studied the business, they realized that these individuals, who have been incredible, had tremendous reach into the network of uh, barangays and, and local government units in our zone of distribution. They had a lot of trust, a lot of goodwill, and obviously they were an important person in that community. What happened was that uh, the capital needed to keep the investment going was not forthcoming in, in the way that it should, and the planning was really not where it should as well. And so they were doing the best that they could with very, very uh, limited resources. We realized that. We also understood that the whole performance structure, payment metrics, and sense of pride was also quite low. Uh, they were constantly blamed for, for the lack of water. They felt a little bit uh, um, depressed and, 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 and unmotivated. But at the same time, they really knew the communities and they really knew uh, the business. So what we brought in was, was capital, a sense of planning, a, a massive commitment to reinvest in the zone. It had massive uh, uh, underinvestment for a long time and, um, and uh, really build up a sense of pride in the employee force. Um, actually, there's some, so many funny anecdotes uh, about after taking over, about a couple of weeks later, you know, we had our first board meeting and we asked the team, you know, how are things going? And they said, well, you know, uh, our call center has received, has spiked up and we've never received so many complaints in our lives. You know, it, it's by a factor of 20, 30. And so we were all aghast at the board. They said, but you know, we're supposed to be the ones supposed to be fixing this. And they said, no, they called up because they realized now somebody would listen to them. It wasn't because they were complaining. It was because they now said, you know what, there's now an institution that we can actually uh, have a dialogue with and, and say, you know, we have needs. So uh, there were so many kind of interesting learnings as we progressed. Anyway, it, it started and, um, and they became, the workforce became a massively important component. And I realized in my mind, I, I remember thinking at the time, you know, I should never, you know, have these cognitive biases uh, again, you know, uh, and uh, I would say maybe 80 to 90 percent of the success of the company really came from that employee workforce that had originally been there. They just didn't get the support that they needed and were not organized in a way that was conducive to a progressive company. So fast forward, the company's done very well. Um, uh, we brought down, I guess, non-revenue water from you know, a, a large amount, I think it was over 60% down to 11, which is a global standard. Um, uh, we gave uh, investors a good return for their investment and, and, and the communities that receive water got the price at a fraction of the price that they were getting. So it was really a win-win all around.